Children's Miracle Network Hospital, making Miracle Treat Day the most satisfying way to give hope to kids in your community. Thursday, October 28th at DQ. You know your closet well, but what does it sound like? Yes, your closet. Does it whisper your taste? Does it scream your taste? The new Stitch Fix Freestyle, your personalized store, gets to know your unique style and fit. Its selection transforms to show you only the looks and trends you love. With a store that evolves alongside your taste, your closet will scream, so you, without actually screaming. Introducing Stitch Fix Freestyle for Women and Men, your personalized store. We're so you. Hello, this is Barack Obama, here to tell you that this year, everyone is watching Virginia. Everyone is watching Virginia because not only are you choosing your next governor, you'll also be making a statement on which direction we're headed as a country. I know Terry McAuliffe and worked closely with him during his first term in office, and I can confidently say no governor in America worked harder for their state. I saw Terry bring record job growth to Virginia, invest a billion dollars in education, and push to expand health care. And I also watched Terry stand strong on the values we all care about, protecting every citizen's right to vote, fighting climate change, and defending a woman's right to choose. Make no mistake about it, all those values are on the ballot this November. This is going to be a close race, so make sure your voice is heard. Vote early or on November 2nd, and join me in supporting Terry McAuliffe for governor. I'm Terry McCall, candidate for governor, and this ad was paid for by Terry for Virginia. All right, it is uh, 840, right on the button on the Gator Bell. She is regularly on Lifetime on the CW Network. She is the mom on the run, and we're talking to Colleen Burns today. Colleen, good morning. Good morning, Neil. How are you? I'm very well. Where are we talking to you today? Where are you located? I am in Minneapolis in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't need my, to go into all for that my kids. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even have to go into all that detail. Just knowing <laughs> you were in Minneapolis was fun. What's the temperature there this morning? Oh, you know, that's a good question. We just got back from California yesterday. I don't even know. I think it's about 50. Oh, okay. Guess. Then it's uh, just a little bit cooler than here. You know, yeah. uh, one of the things we're talking about today is the stress of holiday shopping. And it's ironic that uh, we should be bringing this up today, because if you watch the news at all, everything that we're hearing is about this backup of our our store goods, everything from groceries to sweaters to toys to shoes uh, on these ships. And a lot of them are in California and even on the East Coast. And people are thinking about holiday shopping. And, you know, uh, your kids are going, what I really want for Christmas is, and it's on a boat sitting out there somewhere in the water. <laughs> right, how, right. How uh, yeah, are we as dealing as if the holidays with aren't stressful enough, yeah. Yeah, how are we dealing with this stress? What can we do? Well, you know, there are a few different things you can do. Exercise is always very important, one of the most important ways to combat stress. Um, also, I find that if you write down what's stressing you, that's helpful, and also what you're grateful for, because gratitude can help reduce stress. Um, part of the um, silver lining of the pandemic, I think, is that we've begun to do more things virtually, which makes it a lot more convenient for us. I've partnered with a few brands that I've been able to find that have helped with de-stressing us right now. And it's important to take a break from news coverage of the pandemic as well, um, yeah. which may cause extra stress. It's so important to eat a variety of fresh and unprocessed foods, stay hydrated, um, and so when we're talking about more things that are virtual, that includes health care, which is nice, because when you have a health issue and you don't have time to schedule an in-person appointment, United Healthcare is providing convenient telehealth options to millions of members for urgent care right now. And now they're expanding to primary care and behavioral health care services virtually with Navigate Now. It's a new health plan that enables members to connect virtually first with a personalized health team, and it also helps employers save 15% on premiums compared to traditional brands. So that's a good option. It's the largest healthcare or health insurance company in the country. And they're just providing a lot more of that virtual care, which is a lot more convenient for a lot of people, especially over the holidays. It's funny you should bring up the telehealth. Um, I just got a couple of weeks ago over uh, uh, COVID. And uh, oh, I, did not have a, I did not have a good experience. I have been inoculated mm. at all. But uh, hmm. I called my PCP, who is wonderful, and uh, one of those PCPs that you never feel like she's looking at her watch for the next appointment. 
Yeah. And she's pregnant. And I said, you know, I really don't think I should come in and see you. And you probably <laughs> feel the same way. What can we do? And we set up a teleconference, which in my mind I've been opposed to. But mm-hmm. there was very little difference in the two exams, in the questions she asked, in in the way she treated me, except for the fact that I was taking my own readings. That, no, that sure. was the only difference. <laughs> okay. So you had to take and your I, temperature I, and that kind of thing? Yeah, and I said, here, let me hold my wrist. I'll guess at my blood pressure. And she went, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it, it, it really was a, a good experience. I hung up the phone, or, you know, cl- clicked out of it thinking, wow, that, that I didn't feel cheated right. at all. And so I thought convenient. that was great. Now, yeah. what are the other stress ways? You know, thinking positive thoughts and all that is all nice. But now mm. we open up the checkbook and we're looking at the prices of things and the inflation and budgeting for the holidays. Oh, my goodness. Right, right. And last year, about a third of us took on debt over the holidays and like you're saying, it's supposed to be a joyous time, but that makes it extra stressful if you have taken on some debt. Um, here's a solution from another company I've partnered with, Personal Finance Company, SoFi. They have a credit card that gives you an unlimited 2% back when you save, invest, and pay down debt with SoFi. So it's a big incentive to stick to a budget and to still make progress toward your financial goals instead of falling behind. The card comes with some added perks, including no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees if you're traveling over the holidays, and fraud protection. So you can head to SoFi.com slash credit card to learn more about that and apply. But you know it's always good to, to choose a good uh, credit card that's going to help you with um, paying down your debt, with an incentive to save, with getting something back when you're spending money. So. I think SoFi is just a great credit card. And make sure it's cash back. Uh, I had I had one, got rid of it when I found out that I thought was cash back. And they said, here's your bonus. And I looked and there was a couple of hundred dollars there. And then they gave me options of what I could get with it. And oh, I, went, I, okay. don't, I, don't, I don't think we're going to do that anymore. Did um, you buy something nice or not? <laughs> Well, I had to use it, so I got something for the dogs. <laughs> it was either my wife or the dogs. Oh, yeah, that happens at our house, too. <laughs> uh, what kind of dogs do you have? I have a Frenchie, and I have a rescue dog. So Okay, um, we have, we have yeah. three How rescues you? now. Yeah, we oh. used to we used to only rescue Bichons, and somehow we've ended up with a menagerie now. So <laughs> any tips to de-stress, you know, getting there and and these ideas and that credit card are good. But once you hit that point where you're having trouble absorbing and and, and relating and communicating, how do you de-stress? Right. And, you know, getting really quality sleep is key, too. Um, And aromatherapy is nice, Um, you know, especially... Lavender, rose, bergamot, those scents are supposed to help you de-stress. But I don't even know. I think it's a kind of an <laughs> herb or something. I don't even know, but it smells good, apparently. <laughs> but you got uh, it in your basement and it you, smells good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, but you want to have, you know, sometimes we have trouble sleeping and we need to get good sleep. So I found a good solution right now. Instead of counting sheep, I found Unisom's new Simple Slumbers. This is a new completely drug-free sleep solution that you can use when you're you know, having trouble sleeping. They're great tasting gummies. They come in midnight raspberry, golden honey lemon. I love them. I really do. And it, I don't know if part of it's a placebo or not, but I really do feel like they make me fall asleep faster you stay asleep longer, and you wake up feeling refreshed. The ingredients are important because melatonin helps you fall asleep, passion flower and lemon balm help soothe and calm your mind, and vitamin B6 helps support brain health. So all of those ingredients are really helpful, and I don't know about you, but I'm just no good without a good night's sleep. I know, but I also am very unusual in that I am able to fall asleep very quickly. Well, good for you, and you stay asleep. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how. I get in yeah. a certain position, I can feel it's coming, and bam, it's gone. What was that thing Good we didn't know you. about? What was it called? Burger, burger. Bergamont. Bergamont. B-E-R. Bergamont. G-A-M-O-N-T, I believe. Bergamont. 
yeah, maybe some, one of your <laughs> listeners can tell us what the heck that is. I don't know. Maybe somebody will text in real good. quick. Where, and where <laughs> can we go for more information on all this stuff that you're talking about? You can visit dailylounge.com. Dailylounge.com. Colleen, thank you. How old are your kids? Oh, the oldest is 27. The youngest is 16. All right. The um, 27 isn't still at home, is he? No, gosh, no. <laughs> okay. I was going to no. say, get him out of your basement. <laughs> Colleen, yeah, enjoy that's why your I'm day. in the basement. Enjoy your okay. day in Minnesota, and we thank you very, very much for your information. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Great talking to you. Bye-bye. Uh, Mom on the run.